Have you ever been in an intense gaming situation and out of nowhere nature calls and you gotta book it to the bathroom? I know I have and maybe you can relate with that. How about when someone else wants to use the TV and you gotta put your game down and stop playing? Well, now you don't have to. You can continue playing on your iPhone or even your iPad. Hey, what's up? It's John, aka Operation iDroid, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play PlayStation 4 games on your iPhone or your iPad if you want a bigger screen. Now, this isn't an emulator on your iOS device. A PS4 emulator on iOS will probably never happen. So if that's what you were looking for, I'm sorry. A PS4 emulator on iOS would be pretty dope, but it's just not possible. Anyways, to play PS4 games on your iPhone or iPad, you'll need a PS4 connected to the internet with version 6.5 or above, and you'll need a PlayStation Network account. You don't need a paid PlayStation Plus account, which is awesome because it makes this whole process completely free. Finally, you need to make sure that your iPhone or iPad is running the latest iOS 12.1 or above. So to start, Hit the like button. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't need to hit the like button for this tutorial to work. But at the end of the video, if you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like because it means a lot. Anyways, let's get started already. The first thing you want to do is download the PS4 Remote Play app from the iOS App Store. I'll have it linked in the description below if you just want to click on that to download it. Once you have the app installed, go ahead and open it and it'll prompt you to sign into your PlayStation Network. Make sure you sign into the PlayStation Network that's connected to the PS4 that you want to control remotely. You want to make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi because this application only works over Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you can hit the start button to start the process of the application searching for your PS4. Now, as it states there, this may take a couple of minutes and sometimes you might run into some problems. So during this process, if it does not connect to your PS4, here are a couple things that you can check to make sure that everything is okay. First, make sure that your PS4 is on or in sleep mode. This application does not turn on your PS4 for you. So if you forgot to turn it on, unfortunately you won't be able to connect to it remotely. Next, if it's still not working, kill the application from the multitasking bar and open it again. Once you've done that, if the application still isn't working, head over to your PS4 and make sure that it is the primary PS4 on that PlayStation Network account. If it's still not working after that, the final thing you can try is using the manual code, which is actually quite faster. Go into your PlayStation 4 settings, go over to the remote play settings, click on there, and you'll get a code to input into your iOS device. And once you input that code, it should connect to your PS4. And just like that, your PS4 screen is now on your iOS device, which is pretty crazy. Who would have thought that in 2019, you could play PS4 games on your iOS device? It's pretty crazy to think about, and I hope you have fun trying it out. Now, like I said, the PS4 Remote Play application does require Wi-Fi in order for you to connect to your PS4, but it doesn't have to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your PS4. So if you're over one of your friend's house and you wanna log into your PS4, you still can as long as your PS4 is still connected to the Wi-Fi at your house and is in rest mode or on. So it doesn't have to be the same exact Wi-Fi. So if you're halfway across the world, you can still access your PS4 and play your favorite games. Now, the reason that this works is basically because over the internet, your PS4 screen is being sent to your iOS device and your iOS device is sending the control inputs that you're putting in to your PlayStation 4. So you're gonna need to have some decent internet or Wi-Fi in order to actually have an enjoyable experience playing your PS4 games on your iOS device. And playing any FPS like Fortnite or Apex Legends is probably not the best idea because there is going to be some input lag between you pressing the buttons on your iPhone and it's sending it to your PS4 and then sending the data back to you. So this is more practical for any game that isn't a shooter pretty much. Any game that doesn't require you to be pressing buttons super quickly and have your complete attention 
like Kingdom Hearts or any other game that you enjoy like that. The PS4 Remote Play application actually has a few settings that you can mess with. The first one being the quality. As you can see, you can stream up to 1080p, but that's only if you have a PS4 Pro. If you have a regular PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 4 Slim, you're stuck streaming at 720p, which actually isn't that bad on a small iPhone or iPad screen. You can also go down to 540p if you're having some stability issues with your connection. So at this point, you're probably wondering how you can use your PS4 controller to play on your iOS device. Well, unfortunately, you can't do that. For some reason, Sony made it so that you can't use your PS4 to play on your iOS device. You're stuck using the touchscreen controls, or if you just so happen to have a made for iPhone controller, you can also use that to play. However, there is a little workaround that you can do to play your PlayStation 4 games on your iOS device using a PS4 controller if you're at home. If you're not connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your PS4, using your PlayStation 4 controller on your iOS device will not work because it has to be in range of your PS4. So I have a video linked in the description below or you can click on the card right here or over here. I don't know which side it's on anymore, but you can check out that video to see how you can connect your PS4 controller to your iOS device without a jailbreak as long as you're in distance to your PS4. So this is helpful if someone else wants to use a TV and you wanna keep on gaming using your PS4 on your iOS device. With all of that being said, you should be good to go to play your PS4 games on your iPhone or iPad. Hopefully you find it fun. It is pretty cool to check out at least one time if you haven't done it before because it can be pretty useful in certain situations. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button as it helps out the video a lot and I truly appreciate it. If this worked for you, make sure to vote in the poll that you see in the top corner or this corner, still don't know where it is and leave a comment letting me know that this worked for you if it did not work for you and you're having some troubleshooting issues you can let me know in the comment section below or for an even quicker response you can head over to my discord which i'll have linked in the description below head over to the help section and someone will be able to help you there and yeah i think that is it for this tutorial i hope that you all enjoyed it i already said that i don't know where i'm going all I want to say is that if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this one. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 10,000 Instagram followers so I can get that cool little swipe up feature and link people from my Instagram over to my YouTube. So make sure to give me a follow if you haven't already. On my story, I post a ton of behind the scenes stuff like how I started doing this video and much more. So. Check out some of my other videos and I will see you guys next Saturday at 1 p.m. with another awesome video.